Hey everybody, it's me, Lisa, Transcendence Brown, and I have not done a video in a while, so I thought I would do a short one uh, to share, update, mm, whatever, it tends to come forth, and y'all know that's how I flow. Um, the sun is really bright today, and it's really early morning, and you should be able to hear the birds. Not the roosters yet, they'll come along, they've been around. Um, I tend to get up each morning uh, that I'm able, uh, when the sunrise wakes me up. I take pictures uh, of the light activations thus far, the beautiful sunrises, the new hues uh, that have come through. Um, for those uh, aware of New Earth, magnificent is an understatement, mm, and we have gratitude in every moment. Uh, the vibrational frequency that uh, such things they bring uh, then to our own unification inside. So we actually uh, utilize every opportunity for this um, because we know it helps everyone, us and all. So um, there, every time I do a video, it seems that there's a lot that's been going on. Um, hmm. This is uh, no less an understatement uh, for pretty much everyone. Um, I can only speak to that which I'm aware of, um, because y'all know my world is created uh, from the inside out. I do not um, know what goes on out there, um, only because uh, dimensionally, um, the dimensions that uh, we used to exist in once we transcend them, uh, they no longer exist, except for the occasional um, overlapping of dimensions uh, where something needs to occur. Um, this is where we have things set up as markers uh, to tell us uh, what's present and what is not. Um, I'm able to look at the markers I have set up to know what's going on um, out there and all around. Um, once we come to learn uh, our own program mm, that we should set forth um, before coming here, then we're able to tell what everything is and what messages we um, encoded in our own illusion, our own program, our own reality in here. This, this is the fun part. Um, yes, this is where we use metaphors. This is where we actually look up signs. Um, because everything has a message in it, and so if you can understand the message that's for you, you'll be one step closer to understanding uh, what and why uh, that is in your reality uh, for you. And I don't tend to um, tell others uh, what I perceive their messages to be. Unless they ask me, I'll offer a perspective and then ask them to go figure it out for themselves. That is because there are a multitude of perspectives offered by a multitude of others. Um, which one resonates inside of you is the one that's meant for you. Um, so I will go pick out my meaning. Sometimes I'll make up my meaning according to the feeling or the words that I receive. Um, I don't really care what another says. Um, I go by what's for me. And this tends to keep me in alignment and um, keep me... Um, not really the words I'm looking for ahead of the game, um, but kind of it does. keeps me in flow, um, keeps me aware of what's going on. I'm just kind of going to go with things here. Um, when the sun comes out and gets really bright, I'll probably have to end this because um, it'll blind everybody, maybe, or not. All right, so... Um, Understanding uh, why uh, things occur in our reality is huge. I get a lot of uh, requests, messages, and sessions uh, with others trying to understand why things are occurring um, in their reality there. And there are many reasons for this, and to cover them here just is not an option. Um, I, can, I have done that many times in my other videos and, and multitude of writings over the years. Um, but basically, nothing occurs in our reality um, that we didn't uh, program for us here. Um, it occurs to open our hearts. Um, 
it occurs to um, allow us to release something uh, that was held deep within. It also occurs uh, to help us release anything that is no longer in alignment um, where, where we're, for where we're going uh, from here. Um, dimensional shifts are done uh, vibrationally, and then a physical world materializes in response to that. That's the one uh, perspective and that is true. It is always also true that we arrive in a vibration where things have already been set. Um, things come forth to us here. Um, we do uh, what we're shown inside. We work in multiple realms, um, not just the physical one here, all of them. Um, they are different dimensions, different frequencies, different versions of us, simultaneous realities running all at the same time. Um, we don't get stuck in things, we don't stop and to figure things out unless we um, feel a small need. Um, we don't stay there very long. Um, we know that if there's a message there, it'll come back when it's meant to be. Um, we view things, all things, as sacred. And this is a part that many miss. Um, until we've cleansed in that part of our soul, um, we still hold that vibration within. Uh, cleansing, clearing, pur purification is a part of the process for us all. Um, it is done in many ways. Mm, however, one feels to do it for them is, is all that really matters here. Um, one thing that's really important on this journey is to understand that it doesn't matter what another one says, thinks, feels, as far as we're concerned. We do our journey the way we need to do it. We honor ourselves, And when we do, we honor all others in return. Um, let's see what else I can go through that might assist one uh, right now. Intent is an understatement for mm, the times that we have been in. They will continue to intensify. Um, now how intense uh, one experience these will be dependent on the dimension that one occupies at any given time. The reality, the parallel, doesn't matter what you want to call it, they're technically kind of all the same thing. Um, my job is to simplify and to bring together all the multiple meanings of things and, and help others in understanding how uh, we as humans complicated this entire thing. Awakening Ascension Consciousness Energy um, All of this journey, everything. There is not one thing, one moment that is not a part of this. There are simple explanations for what is going on with everybody, with their physical body, uh, with their emotional body, with their mental body, and with their soul body, um, in order to become one, um, in order to unify, in order to transcend, in order to ascend um, on physical earth. Um, embodiment is, um, wow, uh, an art in itself, um, to, to hit frequencies, to hold them long enough to embody them here. Um, to become uh, quantum jumpers, um, to expand into multiple realms, and to actually walk in them in the physical is quite astounding to our human selves. Um, uh, to have instant materialization of things uh, uh, when you ask for them, um, because you don't ask for them for you, and some you do, uh, but you utilize everything on your journey here um, to reach more, to assist more, in order to share. So technically you're asking for things for you. Mm, that is just all. Um, and most don't get this yet. Um, many don't know what to ask for, how to ask for it. Most have not cleared the energy of lack or um, self-worthiness um, and feel that they deserve certain things. Uh, light workers especially um, all of us are light workers, way showers, um, light anchors, uh, new earth uh, programmers. Um, we just, um, at the time, don't quite understand it uh, until we've 
done it for a while and hmm, human aspect quite an interesting species we are we were whatever um, there's a part of us that is always human which is the interesting part I um, have flown for years um, um, existing only in the higher realms for a very long time for years um, and then it was time to um, come to a walk on a new earth um, being grounded more in the physical body was um, actually a bit hard for me I was used to flying and floating literally inside um, and when new earth started to become real it was quite confusing um, to me I couldn't tell the difference in um, <laughs> what was what um, that takes a, a lot of remembering a lot of consciousness in every state in every dimension in every realm mm, that we exist um, expansion uh, exquisite um, and the merging of the human experience and the higher self aspect um, becoming one here and walking physically on new earth um, that alone is interesting and exquisite and magical and fun and blissful and radiant and, and all of those amazing things. Mm, paradise, mm, an understatement. Uh, the new hues coming in, the new skies uh, that uh, are, have anchored and continue to anchor every day. Uh, Y'all know, who know me know that I hear see, feel all of the frequencies um, in different um, ways, sometimes in bandwidths and sometimes through, always through sound. Um, and uh, visual images as well, words, uh, you name it. Um, I am one of those that, that chose every sense to utilize uh, for this. I share my own experiences. Um, for that which I hear, see, feel, sense, know, um, ancient knowledge comes from within us. It's in our encoded in our uh, new uh, programs, our DNA, um, holding an amount of light and um, long enough activates it to, uh, to become your own memories here, um, your own knowledge, um, remembering and knowing exactly what everything is um, takes a bit and a lot of balance um, at all times uh, if we get out of alignment we quickly get back in um, sometimes it's more of a challenge and we just have to stay on our toes we have to wait until all aligns again we have to correct our physical reality when something presents that's out of alignment out there um, we also utilize everything that occurs out there to show us uh, certain things um, one thing that most did not um, count on was what was going to emerge from within. Mm. And uh, the amount of power uh, that we held uh, for this entire journey here as masters, as um, multi-dimensional uh, beings, um, as mm, you name it, uh, everything that we are as, as human star beings in the physical here. The amount of power that we hold is immense, and our memories, our existences, our realities extend so far beyond here. Um, again, understanding is key. Mm, patience, um, balance, peace, letting go of the old ways and how we thought all should be honoring whatever is present in that moment um, and, and um, mm. not believing in the old human ways anymore, not entertaining them, not feeding energy into them, not even um, giving them any um, attention at all, completely removing everything from our reality that is not light and is not love um, allows us to completely recreate our reality and exactly how we feel um, that is magical alone and, and a beautiful gift that we bestowed upon ourselves um, before ever coming here in this physical existence that we all find ourselves in um, hmm. 
Lord's Coming. And I don't tend to do this one um, because it makes people shift out of um, present moment um, to focus on something that hasn't occurred. What's coming is up to each of us and um, where we put our focus and our intention in every given moment. Um, our beliefs, our mentality, and uh, what old programming we still hold within. Um, noticing our old programming exactly for what it is and realizing that that out there is our creation and intentionally um, changing it, making a choice. Y'all have heard me say this um, so much along the way. So many not willing to make a choice, not willing to let go of their physical stuff um, to embrace uh, that which they hear, feel, see inside. Um, so many want something else, so many still exist from fear, mm, so many mm, scared to let go, don't believe that their creativity um, can support them, um, unfortunately not really, because nothing is unfortunate here, everything is exactly happens as it should. Mm. Everybody will have to rely on some form of creativity at some point in time. Um, because this comes from your heart. This keeps you in present moment. And it doesn't matter what you do. It's just that you do something that inspires you um, and feeds your heart. And then you will do it in present moment. And time will cease to exist. Um, your exchanges with others will be heartfelt. Uh, there is no uh, pre-thinking anything. Nobody cares here. And so... Um, I think I will close today. I just wanted to say hello and share a little bit and because it's been a while for me. Um, I have many events and, and stuff coming up. Um, so check it out on my website if you care. Um, let go. Let it all go. Embrace the new from within. Um, bring of everything you see, no matter what it is, let go of the judgment. Um, nobody cares but you. Um, you hold yourself back. You keep yourself contracted to a single dimension that keeps you limited there. So as you let go, um, you actually shift into your heart um, by choice. Um, if you know how to do this, um, you actually activate things to come forth to you. And you pull forth a new version, a new reality that you, um, another dimension that you already exist in. And you bring this forth and unlimited exists there for you, little by little. Um, and then lots by lots, the faster you jump timelines, the more you um, activate quantum energy inside of you. And it's there. Um, the more you quantum jump um, realities and uh, many other things as well. So... Get ready, loves. It is an amazing time. It promises um, and to continue to be even more amazing um, if your focus is on a new earth and uh, not of any of the old anymore. Um, you choose. It's your reality. Uh, you get the one you believe. You get the one you focus on. Um, you get the one um, that you hold inside of you that transmits and, per and from your own. Um, DNA, your energy, um, everything. It's your bubble, it's your reality, it's your world, it's your universe, it's you. Um, all of it, yours. So, um, do something um, that allows you to shift and make a choice. Mm. So, doesn't matter. I love you. Aloha. Mm, from the magnificent uh, Kauai. Uh, new activations, new portals uh, open in every moment now. Um, if you're ready to jump, um, you'll see them when you come out on the other side. It's pretty cool. Mm -hmm. All right. I love you. And mahalo. I will be talking to you, seeing you, connecting with you very soon.